CCBY 4.0. Now, uh, for the test, you just need to know what CC, what BY, what, the, what those things mean, what ND or NC mean, and it's so damn easy, okay? CC, Creative Commons. You got that? <laughs> okay, BY means attribution, means you have to give credit. Super simple, right? You with me? CC, BY. You just throw out the CC. You don't even need to know that, right? You already know that. BY, attribution. 4.0, you don't have to worry about this, but what, what 4.0 or 3.0 or 1.0 or 2.0, those are all portals. What those essentially mean is every couple years when the licensing system is updated to accommodate for new federal laws, to accommodate for new international laws, um, et cetera, they make a new version of Creative Commons and that, that's what the, the number will mean. Okay, the most liberal license though is the CCBY 4.0. This basically means that mm, all you have to do is give someone credit and you can do whatever with their work. You can sell it, you can use it in your, your copyrighted work, so you can prepare derivatives, remix it, um, whatever, you can tweak it, um, you know, you can, you can use it in for-profit works, you can download it, you can share it. Um, you can basically do anything you want with it as long as you give um, the author credit. And this is a free culture license. So it's very simple to understand. CCBY. Just give credit and you can do whatever. You could literally take someone's song and sell it as long as you give them credit for it. It's the most liberal license. Okay, here's the next one. CCBY SA 4.0. So we already know what CC means, we know what BY means, attribution, and all Creative Commons licenses have attribution attached. SA means this, share alike. What this means is that if you use someone's, let's say, song that's licensed under CCBY SA 4.0, okay, it means that in your movie that you make that uses that, your movie must be shared under the same terms. You must share alike, which means that your movie must be um, licensed under CCBY SA. Okay? Um, it means that you could not use this person's song if you intend to um, keep an all rights reserved C circle copyright on your work. Okay? So uh, basically you can use it for profit, you can remix it, tweak it, you can, you could, uh, you could you could sell it, um, distribute it, whatever, whatever, no problem. Okay, you have to give credit, and if you use it in any way, you have to share alike. But it cannot be used in an all rights reserved uh, copyrighted work. Okay, um, this is a fairly common license. This is actually my favorite license. This is what I use for all my stuff that I, I, I put out, or as much as it, of, of it as I can. Um, it encourages not only sharing, but it encourages people using and contributing to the commons. So if you want to use my beats, you know, you're free to do so. Uh, you got to give me credit. And, you know, if you put rhymes on my beats, you drop bars, um, you know, you got you to gotta put that out on the Creative Commons. If not, you're violating my copyright. I can sue your ass. <laughs> um, um, but it's what Wikipedia uses. It's what most open source software uses. I highly recommend it. I'll give you a funny uh, anecdotal story. Uh, one of my research, passions, whatever, things I love doing is I collect vintage DJ mixers um, from like the 70s to like the early 2000s. I write books about them, I do museum exhibits, I whatever, I'm like nerd out into that shit. Um, actually in my barn, you can't see it, I got about 90 mixers. Uh, I moved them out of my storage into the barn, so... Um, yeah, I'm feeling a certain way about that. But anyways, um, so one of the things I do is I archive them. I take photographs or I work with photographers who take high quality pictures of my stuff. And I put them out there under these types of licenses. Anyways, this dude who, um, you know, is the head of music at the University of North Carolina, the Tar Heels, you know, wrote a book about hip hop DJing and he used several of my images. Uh, awesome. Cool, it's great. I mean, the book did well. It puts my images out there. It gives credit to me. Uh, it, it, it lists the license type, all that stuff. 
So I'm, I'm pumped, except for the book was published as an all rights reserved copyrighted book, which means he totally violated my copyright. So I hit, I hit the guy up and I'm like, dude, like, what's the deal with this? Like, you see my license. He's like, oh, I'm sympathetic to Creative Commons. I'm like, but dude, like, like a fourth grader can re click on the license, uh, you know, can click on the license and see it says, you can do anything you want with this as long as your work is, you know, shared under the same terms, you know. So it's kind of annoying um, to me, you know, like that you that someone couldn't respect that, you know, because again, like what I'm what I'm doing is I'm encouraging, like I want other people to contribute to the commons. Even if it's for profit, I don't even give a shit about that. So like my, my whole argument for using this type of stuff is like, say I make a, a, a beat and, and someone running like an Ike, Nike ad you know, campaign finds my beat, they want to use it. Dope. Um, and it's licensed under a CC BYSA or it's licensed under Creative Commons. The whole thing is they gotta, if they want to use that beat, they gotta give me credit. Like, I'm getting credit for like a, a Nike ad campaign. Like, I, that's tight. Like, I'm into that. I also get to put on my resume, like, I did the beat that's on this Nike ad campaign. Whatever, that's like good stuff. And like, even if it's for profit, right? Like, a lot of people are like, why would you want someone profiting from your work? Well, like, dude, whatever, I'm getting mass props. It's like totally, totally worth it. But CCBYSA is the license I recommend.